Hey guys, I think it's day four here. Um, I've had some great advice from uh, forum members and uh, also uh, a chap from Texas uh, has re replied in great detail uh, on uh, my YouTube channel uh, and has made a number of suggestions. Uh, as you know, those Kent Marine wave makers, uh, you know, I'm just having a nightmare with them. Uh, you know, as soon as you turn them off or, or do anything like that, you have to try and you know turn the on off, uh, then turn the mains back on and off a number of times before I can get one of them quiet. Uh, and the other one that was quiet, uh, it, you know, it just isn't there. It's like whatever I do to it, it's just buzzing horribly. Um, one of the suggestions I've had is to change these wave makers to the uh, high door Coralia uh, pumps. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that at some point. I notice you can uh, get uh, controllers with those. Um, so I'll probably get two and uh, the, the two channel controller. I don't think uh, I need anything like the four channel <laughs> system and that's quite expensive. So I think those wave makers have got to go. Um, and uh, you know, along with that skimmer, it just doesn't seem uh, to be up to much either. Um, I just thought we'd uh, have a quick look at this uh, marine care test kit from Red Sea. Uh, Debbie bought this for me for Christmas. I needed a test kit, and uh, you know this seemed quite comprehensive for you know this stage of things. So I just thought we'd have a, a quick look at that and what you get in the the pack. And uh, I thought it was quite interesting reading the uh, warnings on the back. I don't know whether. This is going to pick up, but you've got pretty much every warning from corrosive, uh, harmful to health, may cause cancer, don't breathe in, don't swallow, don't do anything, causes severe burns, itching to eyes. So we've got some nasty chemicals in here, uh, and they do recommend that you wear gloves uh, when using them. I think the main... This particular one is, I think, yeah, that's the KH indicator, but that's got um, ethylene glycol in it, which is uh, obviously uh, quite nasty. But I think the main cause for concern is this powder for the uh, ammonia tests. There's, uh, there's the ingredients. Yeah, there you go. So I think that's uh, quite corrosive. Anyway, what do you get in the package? I'm sorry, this uh, phone, I still haven't found the camcorder. I've got to tap the screen every time to focus. So it's a bit of a pain. So we have three glass, I assume they're glass, let me tap them. Yeah, definitely glass. Three glass vials. Uh, the instructions say that you should rinse these out with the water you're going to be testing. Uh, and also rinse them out after you've performed the tests otherwise residues will um, uh, possibly build up in them that may affect uh, you know future readings so a good rinse first uh, before the test and one after just makes sense um, there is a little pipette and uh, a five milliliter syringe uh, fairly straightforward instructions. Oops. Do this with one hand. Yeah, fairly simple instructions for each uh, test, but it comes also with a waterproof card for um, for each test. This is the ammonia test kit, and you just work through the procedure. That you can see there. So if I can get this focused again, there we go. And uh, on the back, you've obviously got the colours to match up. You know, even me being slightly colour blind, I can see all of those colours uh, very clearly. So no issue there. Uh, and the next one you've got is a nitrite test kit. Again, hopefully I can see all of those colours without any problems. This looks like a bit of a more involved test with various things to put in the vial. Uh, you know, the, the 
number of drops, etc. How many seconds you have to shake the file for, and uh, you know how long you've got to wait for. It also mentions on the test that after you've tested, you can only uh, compare the file color with the card color for you know a maximum of sort of five minutes or so. But each one is different. <clears throat> That's nitrites. That looks a bit easier. Again, colours. Yeah, I can see that uh, you know, pretty clearly. No problems there, hopefully. And uh, we've got an alkalinity test. Again, that one looks fairly straightforward. The results are on a. Oops, results are on a chart on the back. So the number of drops used and uh, the alkalinity. So I'm assuming this one goes clear or something when you've uh, put the various drops in. You have to read the instructions obviously. So that's that. And uh, where are we? Just back to this pH test kit. Uh, again that one looks pretty straightforward. And no issues with, um, I don't know actually, these, this, this is a colour I can struggle with. Yeah, the 8.4 and 8.6, I can see that the 8.6 is darker. So, um, yeah, hopefully there won't be any issues um, with using this. All of the things fit quite nicely into this plastic box. And uh, there's enough, oh, I'll buy another harmful label. What's, got, what's that got in it? Sodium nitroprusside. Hmm. <laughs> don't, don't leave this out for the kids or the dogs to play with. Uh, yeah, there's some uh, nasty things in there by the sounds of it. I think this was, I think I've taken the price off. I think it was about 45, 47 pounds, something like that. But you do get a lot of tests. Uh, 100, uh, ammonia, 100. 60, 100, 55, so you know that's going to keep me going for uh, a few months, I would think. Uh, I assume you can buy uh, replacement chemicals individually, um, and that's about it, really. So, yeah, I think the current wish list is to get these wave makers changed, um, probably another skimmer and um, obviously the lighting's not uh, not ideal. I have looked into uh, perhaps making something up, up myself with a LED driver and some Cree, uh, I think they call them royal blue, but um, uh, LEDs. But by the time you've bought everything and, and made up any sort of waterproof clear housing, you might as well have gone and just bought a ready-made solution which is probably what I'll do at some point. Uh, I have been told to buy different uh, lamps. These compact T5s apparently aren't very good, but when I've looked around, there don't seem to be many uh, actual replacements other than the uh, Interpet ones available. So I guess I'm going to have to stick with, uh, with those. Um, more advice was to watch the uh, that you've got uh, drip loops on all of the cables. Uh, I'm actually going to sort this out this afternoon and uh, I have got some uh, it's uh, sort of orangey felt that you would put on a window sill when uh, you get condensation on your windows. I'm actually going to run a strip of that uh, along the back of the cabinet because I have noticed some uh, drips running down the whole back, you know, the back of the cabinet so I'm going to put that across there to catch that uh, make sure the drip loops are, uh, you know, um, done properly, and uh, probably mount the sockets on the back wall of the cabinet. So we've, you know, we've definitely got big drip loops. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I think I'm going to wait for Debbie to come home uh, to uh, do these tests. I might have a little fiddle with uh, one of the more simple ones, like the. Uh, the pH test myself uh, in a in a moment actually, uh, but I just thought we'd have a quick look at what uh, what came in this uh, in this test kit. Uh, that's uh, day whatever it is four or five. I'll catch you later.